In this slide, we will discuss various recommendations that are to be considered. To start with, let us understand security assurance recommendations. Functional, regulatory, and privacy of data should be clearly understood. They should be prioritized depending on the impact it can have on application. Identify and analyze the potential vulnerabilities in the system or application and build mitigation strategies. Next, let us look into risk analysis recommendations. Thorough analysis of risks involved is done and threat models are built. Potential risks related to development, deployment, security, and privacy of data should all be taken into consideration and clearly documented. The third recommendation is architecture recommendations. Architecture frameworks should be developed. Architecture patterns, which can mitigate risks, should be used to avoid any threat. Likewise, depending on the security architecture framework used, data architectures have to be chosen to monitor database servers, hosting of database, etc. Whatever encryption is used must be clearly defined to avoid confusion. All responsibilities such as privileges provided to third party, personnel in charge for monitoring application, data collected, etc., should be clearly demarcated. The final recommendation is penetration testing application on cloud. The Open Web Application Security Project, or OWASP tests, should be done periodically on web applications to identify threats. Manual tests should also be conducted to identify if there are any misuse of privileges. For example, due to multi-tenancy, one user might have access to another user's data. Applications in PASS and IaaS should be assessed for security controls, such as virtual security, in order to safeguard the application environment. We will look into the summary in the next slide. Now that we have come to the end of this module, let us do a brief recap. We began with a brief introduction to application security, discussed in detail about secure SDLC, followed by application security architecture in cloud, which includes verification and validation, construction, and quantitative improvement. We then moved on to understand authentication, authorization, and compliance. Next, we discussed extensively about IDEA, which includes five major phases such as authentication, authorization, administration, audit and compliance, and policy. We also learnt about penetration testing in cloud and how to monitor application in cloud. Lastly, we looked at a few recommendations on different aspects such as security, risk analysis, architecture, and penetration testing. It's quiz time again. Please go through the quiz and check your understanding of this domain. We will be discussing encryption and key management in the next domain.